Hi there guys, welcome back to the shop for episode 57 on Project Archie, where today we get to mount our J5 carrier and we finally get to make use of our really cool linear rods. So you're gonna need a couple things for this. You're gonna need some M3 by six set screws, like grub screws, and you're going to need one M3 socket head cap screw that's really long. I'm using a 20 millimeter. The instructions are gonna tell you you want an M4, and that's a lie. It's an M3, I'm sure, I checked. And you're gonna need your rails, you're gonna need your carrier, and this is, there's a lot going on in this one, but you got it. Just stick with me, we're gonna get through this. So begin by grabbing your J5 assembly here. And you're gonna put your carrier in with the palm nut off to the right and the little tabity bit up because you've got your two bearings here, okay? Down in front, up and back, like stadium seating. And you'll see that these two holes line up with these two holes, right? Okay. So that's step one. Step two, into those two holes, we're gonna drop our rods and we're gonna get these right into our little linear bearings. And you may have to wiggle a little bit, but it should just drop right in there. No forcing, should just pop right through. Okay. And then we're gonna do that in the other hole up here. And you can, you can see it down in there. You just line it up, send it right through. Okay, so now you've got your shafts in the thing and everything's cool. That's how you want it to be. Now don't take the shafts any further than just through the thing because you have to take your big M3 bolt that's really long. It doesn't matter how long it is, but just the longest one you got handy and put it in this hole right here. Okay, that hole wants an M3 bolt, see? And it's just gonna go right down in there with just the lightest of fingertip pressure until it bottoms out. And all we're doing here is making sure that hole stays clear because the shaft that you're about to run into that hole, there's another shaft going in that hole down there. The shaft will go too far into that hole if you don't block it with the bolt and you're gonna need to put a, a bolt in there later. So we're gonna bring our shafts right down, line them up to the holes and just seat them all the way in and you can't you can't use the carrier to move the shafts <laughs> so i'm just gonna move the carrier up and put the shafts through it like that because there's there isn't a lot of friction there which is kind of the point and then we're just gonna seat this down in there and i'm gonna stand it up on end and i'm gonna use just a driver and the tiniest of hammers I have a little jewelry hammer, and we're just gonna seat these all the way in. And that one's there. That felt like it went way too far. Yeah, that, that's way too far. Okay. Well, I know that one's where I want it, so we'll have this fight and then we'll come to the other one in a second. I'm just gonna reach in there and work that back out to where I, I'm just gonna put it till it matches the other one and we're nicely inside there. Okay, so now that we have everything where we want it, I'm gonna flip this forward like that. Okay, so we're, there's our top, we're going forward and we've got two holes on the side. This is where you're gonna want an M3 by six grub screw, which I'm gonna load on the end of my tool. And then it's gonna go in that hole right there, the top hole. I'll tilt that back so you get a really good look at that. And we're just gonna run that right into the hole. And this goes down nice and tight. Just fingertip pressure, nothing hard. And then we're gonna roll this this way. And there's only one hole to contend with. Load it on, we're going in that hole right there. And just send that all the way home. Beautiful. 
Yeah, it's lovely. All right. Now that we've got the two shafts secured, we can take this out because this was just a, a safety placeholder. And we're in. We've, we've mounted our carrier and now as this moves back and forth, it isn't, it, it doesn't move the shafts. It's held on the shafts to guide it in position. That's so cool. I like it when we make parts that move. And that's it for episode 57. We've got everything sorted out. All of our parts are together. You've made a linear slide assembly for the J5 carrier. Look at that. It's getting there, guys, step by step. Thank you for hanging out. You guys have fun. If you want to get this kit, you can find it at anandrobotics.com. And uh, they've got some pretty cool forums there. I have a giant Discord with a ton of people in it that are hanging out right now as we do this live, watching this. And you could be one of those people. Get in the links below, check out some cool stuff, learn some things. And if you're building your robot, I want to see pictures. If you're following along on these videos, I, I want to see pictures. I want to see, I want to hear your story. I want to I want to know everything you got going on with this because it's exciting to me. You guys have fun and thank you for learning stuff. I'm Chris Bowden, and as always, we'll see you next time.